Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Good Gamer Online, and today I'm going to bring to you my top 10 vehicles in Grand Theft Auto. In at the number 10 spot is the Vapid Dominator. It is the in-game version of the Ford Shelby Mustang. The stock version of this car has a 0-60 to time of 4.4 seconds and a top speed of 200 miles an hour. This car makes it into the number 10 position thanks to its brilliant drifting abilities and the fact that it feels so planted to the ground. One downside however is the fact that the body does seem to roll a lot upon tight bends. Another downside is the fact that it has very very limited customization options. It's not quite as limited as some cars, but the cars further on in this list have a lot lot more customization options. Next on the list is the Stinger GT. It is the in-game version of the Ferrari 250 GTO. The stock model has a 0 to 60 time of 5.7 seconds and a top speed of 175 miles per hour. The best thing about this car is its looks, it looks absolutely brilliant and it sounds even better. The handling is often a little bit tricky because the car is very very tail happy, however this can often be quite fun to try and handle. One of the downsides is the fact that there are literally no visual modifications, however this car doesn't really need modifying anyway because it looks so damn good. Taking the number 8 position is the Grotti Turismo R. This car resembles the McLaren P1. The stock version has a top speed of 210 miles an hour and a 0 to 60 time of 3 seconds, earning itself a spot in the supercar category. This car handles brilliantly and has ridiculously fast acceleration thanks to its electric and standard engine hybrid. The car has very limited visual upgrades for the car, which can be a downside because I often like to customise my car to make them feel truly mine. In at the number 7 spot is the Invitero Coquette, which is a variant of the Corvette C5. With a 0 to 60 time of 3.1 seconds and a top speed of 199 miles an hour, this sports car is one of the fastest in its class. There are plenty of engine and visual upgrades for this car, allowing you to truly personalise the vehicle that you want. This car also, I believe, has one of the best handling records in the game, and personally, I believe it is one of the best all-round cars to use for races. In at the number 6 position is the Benefactor Dubster. It is the in-game version of the Mercedes G65 AMG and is the biggest surprise on this list. It is extremely fast both on and off roads, however it can topple over easily on rough ground because it's very narrow and very tall. This car makes it into the list based on the fact that it has a whole host of visual upgrades allowing you to truly personalise this vehicle. This vehicle is also very very strong and at high speeds is very very good at knocking other vehicles out of the way to get you out of a tight situation. Taking the number 5 spot is the Dinka Jester. I really don't know which car this represents in real life. I know however that it has a top speed of 180 miles per hour. There are plenty of modifications for this car, including ridiculously large spoilers, side skirts, splitters and a whole host of other modifications to make this car truly your personal vehicle. This car is also brilliant for racing thanks to the fact that it corners very very flat and has plenty of grip. In at number 4 is the Bravado Buffalo S, more commonly known as Franklin's Buffalo. This one represents a Dodge Charger SRT8. The stock model has a 0-60 time of 4.3 seconds and a top speed of 201 miles an hour. This car was one of my very, very favourites in GTA Online, thanks to the fact that it was very, very rare until recently because you couldn't actually get hold of it in online. However, it was available to get hold of using a glitch which has now been patched. 
I really like this car thanks to the fact that there are a lot of customization options, allowing me to make it feel truly mine. However, it is not particularly fast in the sports car category. Taking the number 3 position is the Pegasi Batty 801. This bike has almost identical stats to the 801RR. They're both very, very fast with a top speed of 198 miles per hour. This bike is brilliant in the corners as the driver really leans into the corner, allowing you to take tight ones at very, very high speeds. However, one thing you must consider is if you do cut a corner and you hit a lamppost, you are going to fall off. Taking the penultimate spot on our list is the Debushi Massacre. This car resembles an Aston Martin Vanquish, with a 0 to 60 time of 3.7 seconds and a top speed of 193 miles per hour. This car is one of the fastest in the sports car category. Like the Dinka Jester, it has lots of customization options and handles very much like the Jester as well. It is very, very good looking. However, it is much more expensive than the Jester which is one of the downsides to it. Taking the number one position is the Pegasi Zentorno, which resembles a Lamborghini Sisto Elemento. This car has a 0 to 60 time of 2.3 seconds and a top speed of 213 miles per hour. This car has a whole host of customization options, allowing you to truly customize this car, including the ridiculously large rear spoiler. This car came in the recent Highlight update and costs $725,000, which is extremely expensive and may require some saving up, but when you do, it is truly worth it. Thank you very, very much for watching. I've been Angry Gamer Online. I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you disagree with anything, please put it in the comments below. See you in a bit.